Hello and welcome to another Warcraft the Audio Commentary Warcraft Shoutcast Casting of Casting Casts. I really, I don't know. Anyway, so uh, this is another Zotac game. And it might be the last one I'll be bringing you today. Uh, running into some map issues with one of the other ones that I wanted to bring as well. Uh, having a bit of an issue with finding replays for this. Um, my normal contact with the Zotac admins, unfortunately, he is not here, so I'm not really able to. Uh, getting hold of him who is the guy I was kind of relying on for the replay access um, for some of the matches I wanted to cast but since I wasn't able to watch them live uh, which is unfortunate um, yeah so that's unfortunate but uh, we'll see if I can get it working I will um, and if I can't then you know hopefully we'll be able to bring the finals tomorrow uh, so again just like that we'll see um, so let's get into this game and again I don't know what round this is but uh, yeah, so we have we.gigabyte.jn spawning as the blue human in the top uh, right corner versus reprisal spawning as the orange human in the bottom right corner. And of course, yeah, that's a mirror. And in fact, human mirror is quite fun to watch. And uh, one of my favorite mir mirrors to watch. Mm, I don't know what my favorite mirror is to watch if I had to decide, but I do know this one can be very entertaining. And there's a lot of diversity that you'll see in this mirror uh, because. Um, there's just so many different ways you can play it, so it's definitely going to be exciting and intriguing to see however this plays out. Uh, and this is a pretty good map. This is a pretty fun map for it because on Turtle on Turtle Rock, uh, the close spawn of course can be a little bit cheesy, um, just from, with all the rush strategies and different kind of tower stuff you can do in nonsense with Fire Lord and whatever. But uh, beyond that, this is a pretty good spawn for this. Um, we can see they're both going with the militia creep camps or militia creeps to creep out their green camps and pretty standard stuff. Um, I really don't know a huge deal about human mirror. It's one of the most confusing things to watch, I'll be honest because um, I, I may, or at least maybe that's just me, but um, it's a lot of times it kind of feels like it's just slow roll kind of battles and I don't know if that makes any sense to anybody, but if you've seen them, if you've watched a fair amount of human replays, you'll kind of know what I mean. A lot of times, the battles just go on for a long time, and it's really not very clear as to who's winning. I imagine a good human player would be able to say, oh, no, it's very clear. But for me, um, I'm definitely not a good human player, and so I definitely end up having a little bit of an issue with the murky, muddy waters and as to what's going on in some of these replays. But um, nonetheless, I'm going to do my best to give this a cast and hopefully be able to bring some maybe... I don't even know how you would purify a muddy water. I just I was gonna go with that analogy a little bit farther, <laughs> be like bring some insight to the water, to the pond, the mur murky pond. But I I don't think I'm going to be able to do too much of that, uh, especially because I don't even know what that would be called. So maybe someone can figure that out. You could tell me in the in the comments or something because I I really don't know. That's that's interesting, uh, very interesting. But either way, we do see the uh, uh, Jayan human, blue human, just deciding he's going to do a little bit of harass here. Uh, I don't think he's going to be able to kill that water elemental, but um, he is very close over here to Orange's base, Reprisal's base, and we can see some folk, uh, footy micro going on. I like footy micro, very fun. Um, looks like the J human, the blue human, is going to run away, and he's going to retreat just because um, it looks like there are one, two, three, four, five, five footmen versus four. And that's not really something you really want to do because, of course, in Mirror, especially in this early game, that's a big deal. One Footman is a big deal. Uh, we can see that, in fact, also Reprisal's Archmage is slightly better. He has a Gauntlet of Strength versus a Cloak of Shadows. And, of course, the Cloak of Shadows is very useful if you're worried about dying. However, I don't think he's really going to be worried too much about dying. Uh, however, maybe he maybe is a little bit of a concern because now Reprisal's Archmage does have a Boots of Speed compared to no boots of speed on uh, Jayan's Archmage. So here we do see this creep going off from the militia camp. And if we look over here really quickly, we can see it's not going, it doesn't look like he's going for an expo. It looks like he was just trying to get some extra experience in. Uh, sometimes, you know, it's very important. We do see a footman that's about to go down for Jayan. So that's a little bit of extra experience for Reprisal. And we can see that uh, Reprisal is doing a pretty good job here of pushing him off. We look right there. We can see that the two little creeps did die, and I believe that Reprisal attempted to steal one of them, but I don't think he got either one of them, so that's unfortunate for him. But good for JN, and we do see um, 
what appears the one of the footmen running away he's probably gonna get chased down no he's not gonna get chased down by that archmage the archmage says no i would rather chase down with the rest of my army maybe that's just in case the, this archmage decides to turn around summon a water elemental or something he'd rather have his archmage there uh and also not a bad idea to keep it close to this creep camp just in case more militia come out here to attempt to creep that or something do you see the shop going up for him uh, for JN, and we see the reprise is going ahead and pulling that big level seven creep just away uh, himself, and we can see that also reprisal has a shop going up. So at the end of this little skirmish, whatever whatever is the result, we're going to be able to see both of them have access to healing scrolls to be able to regenerate their life. Um, and we do see footman micro again, lots of footman micro. Pretty much what you can expect early on in these sort of games is just a lot of footmen micro, uh, which is really pretty fun just because there's so many of them. It's kind of like uh, ghoul versus ghouls. Or Footman Frenzy, if you've ever played that. Uh, definitely fun games. We see a panda being picked up a second for JN. Uh, if we look over here, we can see that we have a Mountain King coming up for Reprisal. One of the big differences we're going to see, already seeing a divergence in strategies. Uh, double, uh, we see one Arcane Sanctum as well as a Blacksmith for Reprisal over here. For JN, we see double Arcane Sanctum. So, as you can see, pretty big differences in strategies here that we're watching. Um, and one of the nice things about Panda, of course, is that he has he comes out, he's a tavern hero, so he comes out very much immediately at tier 2. But uh, with the Mountain King, is, uh, you know, he's worth the wait with the Stormbolt. Stormbolt is so very nice. Um, of course, Panda can be really well good as well. Uh, one of the things we'll see, I think, maybe, if I had to guess, is we're going to see Breaker Caster coming out from him. Uh, very good. And I think, honestly, Breakers are probably a good choice against the Panda, just because... Uh, Panda has that big AoE. Uh, I'm not sure. I think the Panda might have stole that with the Breath of Fire, and it looks like he got the item as well. Yes, he did. He's got the Scroll of Beast and the Tome. Um, so unfortunate because Reprisal did tank all of that damage, but uh, he ended up not really getting any reward out of it. So that uh, unfortunate, but that's just the way it goes sometimes. See that Healing Scroll? Finally, it's been up. This shop has been up for quite some time, and that was just such a kind of a long in elongated fight even though they weren't completely always uh, brawling but uh, of course going for that creep camp that creep right there was really just a move to try to directly screw over JN from reprisal and it didn't pay off unfortunately but uh, now we can see him deciding to go ahead and creep out the shop you can get the ward very important the observer wards are just absolutely um, very very important you can see he gets storm bolted right there he's like you know i really wanted to i think he wanted to kill him right there uh to have the ward come out right there and we'll see what he does because of course the ward drops wherever you kill the ogre magi so if he kites that out a little bit he might be just doing that to place the ward somewhere or he might have decided to storm bolt it for a different reason i'm not really sure uh honestly it's not a bad thing to storm bolt just because of the fact that uh you do get a lot of mana regeneration from the brilliance aura so to use your storm bolt whenever you're at full mana on a creep not a huge deal and it does help you creep things out just a little bit faster uh, so here we do see sork and a priest and we can just look in here and see what's going on priest training for adept oh that's right yes you want the adept priest training because you need that uh and we actually see an expansion going up as well uh for jn over there it is natural well it's not as natural really but the uh it's very close i don't really know what you call the natural on this map i guess this is technically your natural um but this used to be the the first expand fast expand location really uh, on this map a long time ago, and that kind of changed uh, at some point. I don't know when. I don't remember. Um, but yeah, so here we can see actually uh, a tier three for reprisal versus a tier two for JN, which of course, which is what you would expect to see uh, if you're going to do any kind of expansion play at tier two. Uh, and we do see a mortars on in in the back of reprisal's base getting the uh, the flak shells or whatever they're called. Let's see. Uh, whoops, I don't want to not be on this fight, but the fragment, the frag sh shards, fragmentation shards, really a really big deal. Um, it, this makes their attacks deal a whole lot of damage against sorceresses and priestesses, uh, priestesses, priests and sorceresses because they're unarmored, and so it really makes them just eat those units alive, um, and very very quickly. And I think that's going to play a vital role coming into this fight, especially because um, you can see quite caster heavy from from uh, Jay in here and it's not gonna make too much of a difference I don't believe against the footman I'm not sure about that I don't think it makes any difference but uh, I do it's a huge difference against the casters that's for sure so uh, and it might and it might be against the footman as well I don't I don't really remember but um yeah we see knights as well we see militia coming out there to help defend this off uh, 
the panda uh, the panda looks like he's gonna get surrounded right here and he does get surrounded so the panda's gonna go down if there's no staff there's no staff so the panda goes down not a good not good for JN but very good play by reprisal uh, and even though so even though JN has this expansion I don't think it's paid off just quite yet uh, it's probably getting very close to paying off then that is the threshold at which it's worth um, the time and the money and the effort spent to put the expansion up uh, so you need all of the, you need to recuperate all of that. And actually, this this archmage getting surrounded as well. Uh, is he going to the archmage dies? He did have a teleport. He did have an invulpop, but he just died. Uh, it might have been lag. This these games aren't always the lag most lag free, but um, that's unfortunate. And so I, what's going to happen here is going. This is going to be very interesting. We do see reprisal just sort of running around doing what he wants to this army and he's going to be able to maybe pick off this priest no the priest runs away uh he's going to be able to get something here i d certainly no not yet but uh he's going to say that's fine i'm going to go for your altar and that's going to force the cancel on the panda most likely and that mean that would mean that he has to revive tavern revive two heroes and in fact it did so he's gonna have to use the tavern twice um Far from ideal, and as you can see, he had actually a healing scroll as well. Uh, so he's actually not going to heal, use the hand, the tavern twice. He's just going to go ahead and pick up the archmage, and he's going to sit by it. So maybe he's going to whenever he gets the resources to make that panda or to buy that panda back. He definitely needs the panda for this fight. However, he can't wait too long, just because those mortars uh, are pretty much wreaking havoc right now in his base, uh, doing a lot of damage and not the great. That's not very good for him. Uh, and he's not tier three, but he doesn't really want to lose really anything. And I'm not sure what the tier has to do anything. But anyway, yeah, he doesn't. He needs to get back into this fight. He goes ahead and TP's in, uh, and we can just watch what happens here. Um, looks like, looks like you can see, yeah. Yeah, this isn't th vying for proper positioning. He's gonna send a bunch of these footmen onto these mortars. Uh, lots of damage going off onto this panda almost immediately. Uh, he buys a healing potion. Is it gonna be enough? I don't know. Lots and lots of damage. Uh, all of his, all of these, all of these units over here for reprisal are slowed. Might be enough to get his panda away. Panda is almost level three. Um, but the panda walked right back into that in there for some reason, and he got bolted, and um, now he is surrounded. Slightly by his own unit, in fact, by that, 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 uh, what's it called? The footman right there. I think he went to pass the TP. He passed the TP. No, he, or not the TP. I think he just went to pass a, an item, either in Volpot or something, to the panda. Unfortunately, it wasn't fast enough. And the Mountain King taking quite a bit of damage. The Mountain King getting staffed out from, I believe, the Paladin. And the Archmage for reprisal going ahead and, uh, TPing out. And I realized that probably was a little bit of a confusing commentary just because I was saying things like the Mountain King and the, and whatnot, uh, the Paladin. Uh, well, of course, they're both human, but um, sorry about that. I'm, I'll get a little bit. I'm trying to. I'll try to be a little bit better about that. Uh, I'm trying to be a little bit better about that with by saying their names. Uh, definitely, definitely a little bit difficult. We see the um, JN re re rebuilding the altar of kings at his expansion, as well as a blacksmith. Um, definitely at the point rebuilding plenty of peasants as well. And I think he's going to probably bring. Uh, no, I don't know if he's going to actually take those off of wood, but he does take those off a little bit uh, to do a little bit of wood re uh, repairing, and now he's going to take them to the gold mine. So we do see that. We do see Reprisal coming right back in for yet another round. He just wants to do what he can. Uh, and he maybe it, he's kind of moved right over here, so he might actually go scout over here or maybe scout over here, maybe creep something. Uh, and it looks like he might be going ahead and scouting over here. Uh, he probably is thinking, you know, I've done pretty well in this game, and so the only way that I believe my opponent would still be in this game without having called GG is uh, if he has an expansion that I don't know about. And that might be what's going on right here, but either way, he does discover the expansion. The panda is being rebuilt at this, this altar, and is it going to be... It's probably going to die before that comes out, but we'll see. Because he's deciding to focus down the, uh, the town hall right here instead, as well as the guard tower, so... We'll see what's going to happen here. He's got these footmen coming in. He's focusing down these peasants with the uh, the the mortar teams. So, But once those peasants are dead, they won't be able to repair, and this town hall will go down very, very quickly. We do see Jayan coming in from the back. He's trying to take out these uh, the, the mortar teams. He's got a slow on. He's using slow very effectively. Um, however, perhaps not the best positioning. That It took a little bit too long to get into positioning there, perhaps. Uh, not too, too great. We do see a mortar, a mortar team being staffed out. Um, having a he's, Jayant's having a very hard time killing these mortar teams. Uh, they're taking quite a bit of damage, but they're also being healed quite a bit as well. So, uh, and they're being moved around. Uh, so we can see that going on here. 
not the greatest positioning. This Jayan's Archmage is stunned and he's going to die to it. He's getting bash stunned as he dies. So he had an invoke pot, unfortunately, he was unable to use it, and the GG is called. Uh, so that's Reprisal versus Jayan, and I believe Reprisal is also going to be in the finals. I believe the finals are going to be Reprisal versus Lucifer. I might be wrong on that. If I am, I will absolutely annotate that, so you'll be seeing it on screen right now uh, if I'm wrong about that. But I did see Reprisal in the semifinals as well as Lucifer, so I'm pretty sure they both made it through. Uh, I probably shouldn't have said that. Maybe I'll try to censor that. I'll, yeah, I'll censor that out um, so you won't have any clue what I'm talking about when I say this now. But whatever, so... Um, yeah, I'll try to remove that part, but yeah, so, yeah, so good game, um, so yeah, if I can get the replay map, the replay, the other replay I have working, then I will be bringing you another Zotac game today, and if not, then this will be it, and I'll see you next time, later.